So I want you to read in the Hebrew, verse 45 only. We're going to get the name of Jesus as the scholars have it translated. Okay, and this is what it says in the Hebrew. Wa abak yanawa am yahawashai. It says, and our fathers also yahawashai. So now, they have Jesus translated here in Acts 7 verse 45 as yahawashai. So now, what I'm going to do, I have it written down on a piece of paper. We're going to find out which of those two translations are the correct translation. Which is the correct translation? Okay. So in Acts chapter 7, verse 45, instead of Joshua, the scholars inserted the name Jesus. And in Hebrew, they have it translated Yahawashai. Okay? With these characters here, which is pronounced Yahawashai. That's how you pronounce the name here. This is what's in Acts chapter 7, verse 45. Okay? You have the Ya, Ha, Wa, Sha, and the I sound here, pronounced Yahawashai. That's in Acts 7, verse 45. However, in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, they have Jesus translated Yahshua. Okay? As you see here, Yahshua. So now you have two different names for the name Jesus. Which one is the correct translation? Let's go to Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 8. Okay? It says, For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. So now what this is speaking of is also Joshua, when he led them into the land of Canaan, led the Israelites into the land of Canaan. Here, once again, in English, they have the name Joshua translated Jesus. Let's read the uh, Hebrew. Kaya alwa abayam yahawashai. Says showing you right here, speaking about yahawashai. Right. So now it says yahawashai rather than Yahshua. So now there may be some confusion in your mind as to what is the proper name. Is it Yahshua that everyone claims it to be? Or is it Yahawashai? That's the secret one. Yahawashai, you don't hear that one mentioned. Yet you hear the name Yahshua or Yeshua pushed throughout the whole earth. So the key to understanding what is the correct name is Exodus. Let's go to Exodus in the Bible. Exodus chapter 23. We're going to read verses 20 and 21. Okay, so you have two, two names now. Is it Yahshua, which is Joshua, or is it Yahawashai? Okay, we know the name of the Savior would be He Saves or He Delivers, because that's what the angel told Joseph to name him. So now, let's go to Exodus chapter 23. Let's read verses 20 and 21. Now, the scenario is this. The Most High is talking to Moses, and he's going to tell Moses about a particular angel that's going to lead the children of Israel by day and by night, <laughs> and lead them into the land. Exodus 23, verse 20 and 21, read. Behold, I send an angel before thee, to keep thee in the way, and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him. Beware of this particular angel, this special angel. Read. And obey his voice. Obey his voice. Read. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, <coughs> for my name is in him. So now, the Most High told Moses, he said, Beware of this angel, for my name is in him. Okay. So now it says, My name is in him. Who was this angel that led the children of Israel? Let's go back to Exodus 20 and verse 23, I believe it was. 20 and 21, I'm sorry. Exodus chapter 23, verse 20 and 21. Okay. And it says, Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Right now, who was that angel? that led the children of Israel, that followed them, that destroyed them in the wilderness and all that, 
Christ. We just read that in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Read, beware of him. The Lord said, told Moses, beware of this angel. Read, and obey his voice. And obey his voice. Read, provoke him not. Don't provoke this angel, for he will not pardon your transgressions. For he's so terrible, he will not pardon your transgressions. Read, for my name is in him. For my name is in him. That's the key. That part right there is what we want. For my name is in him. So we know that this angel was Christ, whom you call today Jesus Christ. Okay? When it says, for my name is in him, it means the sound of the Father's name is in the name of this angel, Christ. So now, let's look at it again. Let's, well, first you've got to know the name of the Father, as we proved already. What was the name of the Father? I'm going to pull up this white sheet of paper, and I'm going to show you. His name is Yahweh. Okay, as we proved. Yahweh is the father's name, meaning he is. So now the angel told Joseph that the name of the Messiah would mean he saves, for he would save his people. So the meaning is different. So in Exodus, when it says, my name is in him, it means the sound of the father's name is in the name of Christ. So now let's look at the two names we've discovered for Jesus. Let's look once again in Matthew 121, where it said Jesus, it said Yahshua. Hmm. The Father's name, the sound of the Father's name is not in that. Yahshua means he saves. Uh, let's, when we went to Acts 7 and 45, the scholars translated the name Jesus, Yahweh just like in Hebrews 4 and 8. Is the name Yahweh? the sound, is that sound in the name Yahweh Yes! Yes, it is! Yahweh Shai. The sound, the first three characters give you the sound Yahweh. Then you have Shai at the end. Yahweh Shai, meaning he saves or he delivers. This is the correct name that you ought to be praying in. Yahweh Shai. Read Exodus 20 again. Exodus 23, verse 20 and 21. Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way, and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him, and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions. For my name is in him. For my name is in him. Meaning the sound of my name is in the name of him, of his name. What's that name? Yahweh Shai. Not Yahshua. Okay. That's the point. Don't be fooled by these evil, wicked niggas called Israelites. Don't be fooled by that. that, that that's why I scorn when I hear somebody say Yahweh. As soon as I hear it, I know the spirit of evil is there. What's that name? Yahweh Shai. Now, I'm not saying that speaking Hebrew is evil. I'm not saying that at all. In the Greek, in the Latin, in the Hebrew. Ebonic. Watch out for slick talking brothers like that. I am just saying there is a pattern behind that. That's all I'm saying. Because our records, some brothers use it. I ain't got a problem with it. Because some brothers use it. I ain't got a problem with it. I, I scorn when I hear somebody say, you howl, Bosh. As soon as I hear it, I know the spirit of evil is there. What's that name? Yahawa Shai. That's the point. Don't be fooled by these evil, wicked niggas called Israelites. Don't be fooled by that. 